the challenges this week's offense you're facing as opposed to last week? Just a, a different type of challenge, absolutely. Uh, you know, a week ago it was done with a bunch of different personnel groups and a, a lot of plays out of those personnel groups. This week it's going to be a lot of plays out of the same personnel group, but you're going to get unbalanced. You're going to get wildcat. You're going to get empty. You're going to get some formations that you'd never see or, or, or prepare for. So it's, um, you know, and it's also the, the challenge of working in four days of prep instead of whatever it was, eight or nine, you know? So it's, um, you know, that's a, it, it's, it's, we're going to get a good barometer where we're at right now uh, this week. How good is this quarterback? I think he's really good. I think they put a lot in his hands. Uh, they put a lot in his hands as far as the RPO stuff goes. Um, you know, him getting the ball in the right place, run game or pass game. Um, I think he extends plays in the pass game. He's difficult to, um, you know, even though I, I think sometimes they uh, give up a little bit of leakage up front, he gets out of the pocket, he makes things happen. Um, he's got a lot of moxie to him. He's, he's, he's a dude. What was the process like to get the three-man front ready this offseason? Um, <laughs> it, was a, it was an exhausting process. Um, it was a lot of uh, trial and error, a lot of thought, a lot of um, drawing things, looking at things, um, study of, of others. Um, you know, it was a, um, <laughs> it, it wasn't something that we just put together overnight, I'll say that. And then, and then through uh, spring practice, it was something that, um, you know, we learned as we went a little bit and, and certainly appreciate Coach Messingham and all those guys do because of the uh, uh, challenges they present for us. Uh, built a lot of rules and things off of some things that we saw from them. Um, but it was, uh, uh, yeah, and I, and I think it's still an evolving process. I think there's still a lot of more depth that we can get into with it, but it's, it's uh, you know, it's been good so far. Do you, do you feel like it caught them by surprise a little bit? I, I you know, it, it's funny because they, they probably blocked it the way I would think somebody would block it. Um, I, I, I don't think they knew that that's what we were going to be identity wise, but I, I do think uh, they had some decent answers to it a little bit. And I think we had some good counters to their answers. Was it the plan going in to go so much three down versus four? Um, yes, early. And, and, um, and then it, it just kind of was, was flowing and we just stuck with it. I don't, I don't know if we were going to do as much as we did, but we, we did and it was, um, and, and we had success with it all the way to the end. You guys were flying around. Um, how big was this emotionally for you guys to get off to the kind of start you were able to? I, I think, uh, our guys are eager to establish their identity and, um, you know, I think step one of that is done. Um, you know, now what's the encore performance going to be? You know, and, and we're going to find out how mature of a group we have this week. I think the preparation's been good. It hasn't been easy, but it's been good. And, you know, they're going to be defined by what we do each Saturday, not by what happened on September the 4th. And so I think they understand that. So we'll see how it goes. What, what do you hope that identity ends up being? I just hope we play really hard. I hope we're sound. I hope we can get 11 sets of cleats in the ground on every snap and we play fast and physical. And if we do that, we're going to have success no matter what kind of front we're running. Ideally, would you like to go back and forth between the three and four all season? Yes. Yeah, I, I think we've got uh, good uh, personnel up front, uh, good enough to, to play four down. I think our guys are very comfortable in that, um, you know, and, and I'd love to be able to have both at our disposal at all times. Kind of limited black, um, <clears throat> excuse me, blitz packages last week. You got to uh, force the yeast interception with the blitz. Is that um, pretty much the, the package going in? You, um, you know, that's something that, uh, you know, we, we probably didn't do as much last week as, as maybe we will moving forward. Um, you know, it's, it's, you know, blitzing out of three downs a, a little bit easier to do, I think, because of the, the shell that you can hold in the back end. Um, maybe a little, tip your hand a little bit more when you're in four down people. But it's, um, um, I, I think that, uh, yeah, I think that's, Philosophically, just last week where we were, you know, I, I don't think I think they had a lot of good receivers that were able to play one on one ball, and and you know we saw that a couple of times, and I, I think that uh, um, you know we, we we wanted to fit the runs and and just be sound with our with our stuff, so we didn't bring as much gas maybe last week as we as we may moving forward. A lot of the enthusiasm we saw reaction from big plays is that something you guys have kind of oh, coached yeah. up or just let them go? Yeah, no, I I, I think that uh, you know I. I always want these guys to. I want these guys to set an NCAA record for fun that they can have in a <laughs> career here, you know. And and uh, I think that, uh, you know, that's your three hours a week that you get to to put 
us on display, not you, not as an individual, but us collectively. And, and I, I was proud of how they celebrated with each other, celebrated each other's success. Guys that played limited snaps, you know, we talked about this week as a staff, still had a huge role in the game. You know, a Reggie Stubblefield that may have only played 11 snaps in the game, you know, he gets a huge PBU that probably, you know, it was a huge momentum deal in that game. Um, and, and I think guys are, are comfortable with the roles they're in. Those roles are going to be ever evolving, but I think uh, um, maybe more than ever since we've been here, I think guys are playing less selfishly and, and more team defense, which is what we want to be. Cliff Clemens said Tuesday that he thought maybe this team is the best reverse team in the country. Is this like the most you guys have ever gone in practice against reverses just, in a week? Yeah, just incredible. Uh, the amount of good. Um, gadgets and things that they have in reverse is certainly one of those. I've, I've never seen a team that you're going to see three or four a game, you know, and, and so it's uh, going to test our rules and principles to be sure. I'm fun to mention Daniel Green was somebody that really popped to him when he looked at the film. What, what did you think about him? He, he, he was outstanding. I thought Daniel Green was outstanding. I thought Cody Fletcher was outstanding uh, as, as a linebacker core, just flying around, just, uh, you know, Daniel just doing his job, but also some of the effort plays he made were sensational, you know, and some of the things that maybe you won't see on a stat sheet, you know, I know we, they threw a little check down to the back and we missed a tackle in the flat and he's the guy that tackles it for 11, you know, just, and he was a blitzer on the play and, you know, just redirecting and making a, an effort play that, you know, look at the stat sheet, you see Daniel Green tackle, but you don't know how impressive that is that for him to change direction and get in on that. It's, he played really well. How, how tough of a call was that on the one we got ejected? You know, I, Tough to get upset, you know. It was certainly not a malicious deal. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, that's just the rule of college football. And I know sometimes it's um, <laughs> sometimes it's just luck of the draw. To be honest with you, you know, if the receiver ducks his head and we kind of are, are getting ourselves in a position at the same time, can helmet helmet contact can occur, you know. And I understand the rule. I understand it's there to eliminate the malicious play. Sometimes we're a victim of the circumstance, you know, and that, that was one of those deals, and so it, it is what it is. Coach, what do you think about the pass rush, and specifically how nice was it just to be able to rotate bodies in and out there? Definitely? We were definitely fresh up front. I thought the pass rush was awesome. I, I just, uh, some of the rushes were um, uh, individual, on an individual basis. I know Khalid Duke's sack was one of the better rushes that you're going to see all year um, in any game. I mean, it was just uh, for him to split two offensive linemen and, and, and make a play when we needed it. Eli Huggins' uh, sack was a big one in a big moment. We were on the fringe of the red zone, um, you know, and I think that's part of what we want to do with that package is cut our D-line loose and let those guys get after the quarterback a little bit. When it comes to your pass coverage, is, is that something that you may have not liked as much on the rewatch? You know, um, we just didn't finish well at the top of routes. You know, when you look at some of the um, <clears throat> fade balls that got caught, um, you know, there were three of them, and, and I thought the, res the, the, the DB was in good position in all three. I mean, I, I don't know that you'd coach that any differently. I think that you can coach the finish differently. I don't think we located the ball very well. I don't think we put enough body pressure on the wide out. And, uh, you know, I think we can be better at the top of the routes. But, you know, I, I don't think we were, we were bad at the line of scrimmage or anything like that. I thought, we, you know, uh, I don't think it's far off. Who do you expect uh, will start a linebacker in the, in the first half with Daniel sitting? Uh, likely Nick Allen. I know, I, know it's one, a couple more. I know it's just one game in, but so far so good with you being back on the sideline. Did you get what you wanted to out of that change? Yeah, I felt I felt uh, comfortable. I felt uh, that, uh, I don't know, you know, I felt connected to the guys. Um, and, uh, and and I thought, I, you know, I thought, it, you know, there wasn't a ton of adversity in that game. So it wasn't, you know, it wasn't like it was uh, – you know, us putting out fires all the time, but I, I think that's, I, I felt good. It was, it, I feel better about it now than I did last week this time. Are you going to be able to get more out of J-Mac this week? Yes, yeah, I think he's, uh, he looks better this week in practice, uh, healthier. Um, you know, he played uh, 21 snaps, I think it was, in the game. I think uh, we'll be able to get him uh, full speed this week. All right, guys, thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks, thanks Joe. Joe.